So we also have the man, the myth, the legend, the other gladiator, Philip Wegman of Real Clear Politics, bringing up a great point here of how this knucklehead, Alejandro Mayorkas, continues to tell everybody that the border is secure, that the border is not open. But yet you have millions of people pouring across the border. So Philip Wegman's here questioning him going, how can you say the border is not open? Let's go ahead and roll it. Uh, Republicans have challenged you on this point on Capitol Hill, and I wanted to give you an opportunity to respond. Um, you know, they point to Border Patrol's own numbers, which show that going back to October of last year, there were more than a million apprehensions, but then there were also more than 530,000 gotaways. That's roughly the, the size of the population of the city of Baltimore. How can you say that the border is not open? So, um, uh, we removed, returned, and expelled 1.4 uh, million people last year. Ask those 1.4 million people if, if they think uh, the border is open. Our apprehension rate uh, at the border is consistent with the appreh apprehension rate in prior years. That's not a good thing. This guy is such an idiot. Oh, my God. Well... <laughs> Our rates are consistent when illegal immigration wasn't breaking records. That is not a good thing, you idiot. You would want to see your apprehension rate increase because there's more people pouring across the border. So you're sitting there going, well, our rates are fine. It's what they were in the past. Well, again, this wasn't happening under Trump. So if you're having the same rate as Trump and those before him, there's a massive problem then. And this dude's bragging about it on TV. And look at his face. God, would you guys trust that guy with a 10 foot pole? Would you guys let that guy babysit your kids? I don't think so. I don't think so. But somehow we put him in control of our freaking border because the knucklehead that's supposed to be running this country ain't anywhere to be found. And then in El Paso, they've declared thanks to the extraordinary work of the United States Border Patrol. Thank you. And in El Paso, they've declared a state of emergency, but we've also seen this um, in other cities like New York and, and Chicago. I'm wondering. Um, while so much of the focus is on uh, the southern border itself, can you tell us more about the steps that DHS is taking to support those cities elsewhere as you know this surge affects not just that geography, but other cities and states across the country? I would say the, uh, a number of things. Number one, we're grateful uh, to Leader Schumer and Congress uh, for the emergency food and shelter program funding uh, in the omnibus uh, this past December of $800 million. That's a significant increase over the prior year's funding of $150 million. We're working very closely with cities. Here you go. The guy's bragging about us spending more money on this illegal immigration that's happening here. It's, 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 like, it's like he doesn't have a clear. <laughs> well, he just, just talked about over a billion dollars right there. In one breath, the dude's like, <laughs> oh, we're stoked to be spending a billion dollars on other people when our infrastructure sucks. We need better classrooms. We need better bridges railways i mean how many train derailments have we seen but no let's let's send billions of dollars to the border which gets brought up in another segment by the way folks a great question i don't know his name he's a bald-headed guy i think he's with fox business i'm not 100 percent sure on that but he asked the question basically of hey you know what how much is this cost in taxpayers he doesn't answer it but i'll give you the figures let's continue it's in communities along the border and in the interior of the united states we need the system fixed uh, thank you. so thank you, Mrs. look phil and jackie they showed up we got a few other reporters that showed up as well. And what I mean by that is everybody in that room almost got a question in for DHS Secretary Alejandro Marcus. It was like an hour and a half briefing, and I'm only going to show you about five or six highlights of it. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.